Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and today I'm going to be talking about the return to Blood Far Lake. This movie was released 2012, directed again by Chris Seaver. So the movie is very aware of itself, does say that it is set three years after the terror at Blood Fart Lake, and it involves an internet ghost hunting group that have a podcast, I believe, that want to research the Scarecrow Killer's childhood farm in the hopes of possibly catching something paranormal on camera. But as we learned from the opening scene, uh, featuring a cameo from the actual Ben Scribbins from Fright Rags, we learn that the Scarecrow Killer may in fact be back in the flesh for some more terror. My likes. Uh, we do get to see a bunch of familiar characters from the first movie are back. Uh, I was particularly happy to see Gwen, the kind of weird actress from the first movie, who was definitely killed in the terror. But I don't really care how she ended up like still being alive. I was just excited to see her because I really, I thought her character was really funny and really out there and ridiculous. So I was, I was stoked about that. Of course, Ben as the horror-loving survivor, and we can't forget our other survivor, the mullet rockin' Leo. Uh, the spoofing of the paranormal show was, was funny. Like, Ghost Hunters, Paranormal Witness, or whatever they're called, I'm really not a fan of those shows. So I always kind of think it's funny when they spoof them and kind of, like, call them out for being pretty hokey. That's that's for a whole other video, but I thought it was funny. I thought I like the spoof quality. I like spoofs, guys. I'm not going to apologize for that. Uh, the random martial arts sequence just thrown in there for no reason. I'm 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 in it. Like I I like that. I'm a huge fan of martial arts anything, so just that being randomly thrown in there not really an explanation. I dug it. I was happy. I had a good time. The only dislike I had is that it kind of ended on a cliffhanger. And by kind of, it definitely ended on a cliffhanger. And I haven't been able to locate a third entry into the series, which lets us know what happened to this Scarecrow Killer's legacy. I don't want to give it away, but I also like really, really want to know what happened. And I'm kind of bummed that I can't find it. I don't know if there actually is one or if it's just not widely available. Help me out, guys. Is there is there any way to find out? Like, even if someone could just write me a short story, let me know what happens. That would be cool, too. So I give this movie a 3.5 out of 5. Again, it was super enjoyable. I really had a good time watching it. I just, like, the only thing that bothers me is I need to know what happens. Like, I'm just hanging. But still, super enjoyable movie. Really like the cast. Really like all the, the gags in it. The jokes. The gore was good. Fun, fun times had by all, which was me and my cat watching it. So I would definitely recommend this movie, especially if you've seen the, the first entry into Blood Fart Lake. That sounds gross. Sorry. But give it a watch. Have you seen this movie? What were, you th what were your thoughts on it? Leave me a comment down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of my uploads. You can also find me on Facebook, Reanimator Reviews, and Twitter at Reanimator. And please let there be a third movie somewhere, guys. Help me out.